Welcome back, everybody. So we have the catacombs are finished. Is this guy stuck behind a plant again? These guys keep getting stuck behind plants. Very embarrassing. Come on, go. So now it's time to work on the other side of the underground, which is... Hello, guys. This is going to be the uh, quarters for the priests. So we'll come through here, and it's going to be down under here. So we'll come through here, and then this will be like a little hallway, and we're going to have all these little quarters over here, rooms for the priests. And I thought it'd be nice to have windows for all these guys. So. Oh, I can't do that, can I? And I'm not sure the wall is going to go up that far, at least inside here. I may put a, a fake ceiling in here because it just feels a little weird to have such a high wall. I'm also not sure how long this episode is going to go for. I'm still feeling a bit under the weather, sinus-wise and throat-wise. So it may end up being a short or truncated version. Just to uh, save my voice and save you from hearing me crack my voice. One, two, three, four, five. What about here? Yeah, the roof's definitely not going to go all the way up there. So I'm thinking maybe at that point, like four blocks down will be the ceiling so they'll have nice high ceilings so we'll have room here room here and then over here I could put another room here just put the door if I put the door at the end I kind of just pushed out the room in either direction I can't go too far this way because this is all wall so the wall has to be here at least but I could yeah, extend it out just a little bit so make a long very long narrow room maybe maybe a long narrow room or maybe this room will just be extra big or maybe the high priest sleeps in this room here so the wall would be, so the room would actually go from way over here. Probably go all the way through here and just close, have a door right here going into this nice large, maybe an office bedroom for the high priest. And then you have like bedroom, 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 bedroom for the sub priests or whatever. I don't know what those are called. The not so high priests. Did I bring... Oh, I didn't bring a uh, shovel. Oh, well, we're going to have to just work around that. So let's pop this dirt out. And I know I have grass here, and I thought that would be a problem, but this is actually inside the big zombie back here. So it doesn't matter if I have to put rock or uh, stone there. Oops, I only have one of those. I guess I'm not using... Uh, guess I'm not using that uh, let's do let's do oak logs so I've oak logs Oops, not there oh I did bring a uh, an axe forgot the shovel but I do have the axe so like there that and do I have any no slabs I do have these slabs so maybe I can do 
like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. That will because I'm going. You know, it's so much stone through here, and then there. I did all that stone for the crypts, so I don't want to do that again. Oops. Let's see. Yes, I do need. Do you need one of those? And actually, I'm going to do a this and is that too far can I do no I, I need to Let's not do that. Let's do like that. It's nice to have actually room under here to, to work. Normally I'm cramped in. I don't have so much room. but This works out really good. There, and then uh, those torches give me plenty of lighting. I guess the only thing I need to do now is... Like that, and you come in, and there we go. So that's why I need to figure out where the ceiling is going to be. So maybe if the ceiling will be at that level. Well, let's uh, we'll do the ceiling last because that's the least of my problems. And I think I'm just gonna yeah just put slabs at that level and go all the way across everything. We're just going to put a stone near this. Do I have that? Oh, yes, good. So the floors and everything in here is all going to be stone. So there is some stone you know, lingering about. And then I thought... And I could put the windows in here. So just that bottom half. So this is just going to be stone on the bottom half here. I will need to mark out some areas for lighting. I don't have a lot of lighting set up yet. Or planned. I think if I do this, I think I'm going to put like a light here. It's not going to be a torch though. Maybe a lantern. Maybe do the same thing on this wall here. Oops. Wrong one. So let's do that there. And then put a torch here. Because there'll be a wall on top of this. So like this one here. We'll do that. We'd have a lantern here. And then on this side, same thing. And then a lantern here. So that should light up quite a bit of it. There. And I did start work on the outer wall. So we've got the outer wall kind of set up here. So this will be the, I'll have to fill in that outer wall down there. Once I figure out the level, because I think one level is going to be over here someplace. I don't think it's going to go all the way through here. So I think I think the other level will be down there. But it depends. Once I get, I need to finish uh, landscaping all of this and leveling it all out. So I'm really not sure what level 
the dirt is going to be at here because I've got I want something at that level at the level of that so it'll go around and I don't know if it's just going to stop there and go stairs down here because I'm really not sure what where these levels are going to end up if not I may just it may just be this is filled in with dirt at a certain level up here and then another wall would run over on that side to fill it in kind of like I did here with the dirt up there and I'm just filling it in with walls so the interior is all empty because I don't have the time or the patience to fill it all in with dirt plus I don't need it all filled in with dirt there's no need so I can just get by with just putting putting a floor or a dirt floor and walls I hope I'm going to have enough blocks. I may have to go get some. I've already had to run back to spawn and fill up a shulker with a stone. So it's... This is taking a lot more uh, stone than I thought. I thought I was going to get plenty of stone when I was digging things out. And I did. I got a lot of it. But it just uh, wasn't enough. So like here, this is going to be a wall right there. Do I have any? I've got just got cracked left, so we'll fill out the rest of this. Let's see, let's take care of that. Oh, I did have dirt, didn't I? Oh, there's dirt, yeah. I've got enough dirt, so I can do dirt there and just put, oops. Yeah, like that. Let me put a, uh, torch in here just because it looks a little dark take care of that so that means I've got a wall right here and like I said this is all going to be this is all going to be a single room over here So let's see if I take this one out like that and I just need to do the same thing on this wall. There. I want to make sure it's not too dark back there because I don't want anything spawning in this little cavity. this is going to look like that so if I get all this filled in with the, like stone I should be able to come back here and finish the walls yeah I think that'll be good so that'll be a nice big big open office area yeah so I can just run this wall this wall can just keep going this way there'll be nothing over there maybe a secret passage to a secret vault or something back here because I although I don't know how much room I have could be uh, could be a secret passage going through here oh yeah well that does land if I fill in these walls and make a secret passage and then once I get to this side have a piston door which opens that up that would be kind of cool So it's like secret entrance into the vault from the beneath. And then I could even have a secret entrance that goes down here and comes out somewhere in the city down there. I kind of like that idea. Secret passages are always cool. Because we'll have the main wall here, but if I build a secret corridor, it just shoots down here. You know, build another wall out. So this would be another wall out this here. And then we're going to have a wall at this level. So yeah. Oh yeah, that would work like that. That'd be a nice little wall corridor through there. With flooring. Of course now I used up all my wall blocks. So I don't have any more. 
I'll have to go get some more of those. I need to get some more blocks for the floor because I'm all out. All I have is wood. And the wood is going to go on the walls. So. so the way I'm thinking for the wood... Oops. Like that. And then the lantern would be there, I think. Although, it actually, it looks... I may actually raise that and put the lantern up here. And then... Uh, the walls are actually going to be these spruce. Maybe like that. Yeah, so I could figure something else out here for this. Because it may make more sense. If I take care of this. If I put in... Do I have a spruce... Uh, pl no, spruce planks. Spruce planks. Strip spruce. Spruce planks. There is spruce wood. There it is. I think it might actually be better if I do this and this and that like there. And then the, uh, oh, oh no, the uh, lantern would go in that little cubby right there. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Oh, I can't do the same thing over here. Because it works, it works there, but it doesn't work over here because I'll see it in the walls. So I guess this one just go like that. And this uh, would have to go like that. And that one's going to have to go the other way. And then the light would go right there. that it doesn't have to be too fancy because these are just quarters they're not really stuff viewed by the public although I may want yeah I may want to do this let's take this out just give it a little bit of a texture and depth there. Ooh. There we go. And then for this wall, I was actually thinking Nice big window like that. That would be a nice big window. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll do run the floor. Maybe run the floor at this level. I don't have any stairs or anything, but yeah. But run maybe do an upside down stair and then run the floor on top of this. 
maybe andesite or diorite, something bright. And then when we get to this part over here for the wall, we'll just fill this in with uh, more stone and stuff, more of a pattern. But then you, but you'll see the wood from the outside. So all the, you know, so we'll have each wall is going to look like that. Oops. Let's get rid of those. So you're not going to see. Yeah, so we're not going to see the uh, stairs on both sides. Unless I do something like this. And I could do that. That would. That would give kind of a depth on both sides there. Now I'm going to cover it with furnishings, so it should be okay. I mean, that's not all you're going to see. I also thought maybe. Maybe running a couple of these across the top like that would help make it look a little I think it's that would help make it look, look a little better. I always like beans. And it'll look better once I get the ceiling in, I think. Maybe the ceiling would be birch. Birch or oak? I, maybe the oak. I think it's going to have to go with oak slabs. Yes, I think. I think the ceiling is going to have to be like that. I think that'll work. I think that will work for the ceiling. Okay, so now I've got a plan. That's the way it's going to go. So let me uh, start working on the rest of this. And we should be, uh, should be able to come in and start furnishing. So I've finished up down below, putting all the walls and the ceiling and stuff in. So. We head down here. I'm going to put like a little banner there. I kind of like, I've got some of the extra, I've got extra banners here. So, so I've got five. I'm going to put just a few of them here. Actually, let me get this other one. It's over here. Since it's kind of off center. Yeah, maybe if I just take all of these and put them up high. I mean, I don't think I should cover up the... Oh, actually, I could do that. I could do that. That wouldn't look too bad. There, there, there. there there kind of decorate the walls and then I'm going to put like a couple here and then a couple down here just brightening things up I mean it doesn't have to be I mean it's dark down here but it doesn't have to be drab I don't think drab is good. Let's see through here. I'm, I'm putting in, putting, I'm putting in, putting in, I'm putting in. I'm not putting in anything. I am putting like a fireplace here. We'll pop this one out. Oop. Like that. Yeah, so we got a little bit of fireplace right there. I mean, I have these 
there, but yeah, that'd be a little bit of overkill. So yeah, I think that'd be okay right there. Can I do that? That might not be bad. Yeah, I think that'd be okay. Put a bed. Let's put a bed over here by the fire. And I'm not sure if that's a bed or a couch. Because I wanted to put a... Uh, Put the desk in front of the window so you can, if they're studying here at the desk, I'd imagine you get a good view of the window out here. I have some bookcases on either side, since they're priests, they're going to have their brewing stand in here. Let's do that. And then I will put that over in the corner there with a crafting table there put a chest here and a little flower pot oh, might as well put that there can I do that? actually let's not put all of those, just put one of those yeah those still show up that's good. And I just had it. Where's oh there we go. Candles. Right. Put a few candles there, so that's a cozy, cozy little room. So you, you can sit over here and read, you can lay down and go to bed. You can sit over here and study. I was going to put stuff on the wall, but I think I'm just going to go with, uh, kind of a, I wonder if I do that, can I do that? Um, let's see. Where is this? I'll do up here. Oops. One. Up here, can I? If I put that there and that there, no. Oh, dang it. Dang, it. I was hoping. I was hoping I could cheat and get that through the wall, but I can't. Oh, where is... Where'd my slab go? Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see, maybe. Did I do that? No, that's wrong. I'm in the wrong order. get that to not be so tall. I know I did that upstairs. How'd that happen? Or maybe I didn't. Oh, I covered it up with gray. Okay. So I did, did a little bit of cheatiness there. I 
which I don't have a gray. I think we're just going to have to just go on a variation. It's not as precise as the ones upstairs, but I think it gives a good color. Kind of a zombie feel color. That's good. I need to get doors for all these. But well, we're going to do similar things in all of these here. I will need to get some more bricks. Because I don't have enough mud bricks for all the fireplaces I need. But I think each place will get their own little fireplace. It will go up this way. And I could even uh, do something like that. And... No, I want bricks. I want to do, I'll get some more bricks to go all the way up there. But the bed, everything's kind of going to be the same. And then we'll have the desk over here like we had before. Oh, dang it. Like that. Yeah, so it's all going to be very similar. So let me go through and finish uh, furnishing all these. Then we can get a, uh, a better look at things. Uh, let's take one last look. And I've got to end it for today. So the priests will come down here into their quarters. We have this first one that we created on you saw me make that one this other one I about finished that one while you guys are watching we got this one a little different not so much a bed just have the one uh, couch bed here everyone's got the desk it looks out over the uh, landscape this one has a nice little fireplace here and we get to this one over here. Has a little fire in the corner. Has a little workstation here with the brew stand. We have our, you know, our desk and our bed. Well, I didn't put any candles in this one. Let's, uh, since I have candles, I'm going to use them. And then you get. Finally, this room, this is like the high priest's office and bedroom. He's got a nice comfy double bed over here. Lots of bookshelves because he's reading. A little fire uh, fire pit with a you know, boiling water cauldron on it. And a desk so he can talk to people. I think. Yeah, I like the way this came out. And got this beautiful view. You know, I went with the windows of uh, the white and just the plain glass i think that looks much better for windows when you kind of mix the mix the colors in there although this one's a little too like even i probably should have swapped those two and kind of made it a little more uh, a little more square not so much rectangle but this also leaves me with the ability to put a like a piston door here because i think i've got enough room I could have a piston door, which would pull off these two pistons, or two blocks here, because the floor would go there. Do I have any more of those? Oh, I do. Okay. Like, that would be the floor. And then we would have the pistons that can pull out, you know, this block and these two blocks. It's like a triple piston here. Pull those out, pull them to the side. I think I can do that. I've done that before. Might take me a little trial and error, but I think that is possible. That would be cool because I could put the switch here or something. I could even like maybe put a lectern here with a book on it. So when you open to a certain page, it would trigger the door to open. That would, I think that might be a good way to do a secret passage out here that the only the high priest has access to it takes them down long corridor down there you can get into the crypts or get into the rest of the city from here 
Because that it just seems something like uh, the high priest would have access to. It could also be an escape route if things got a little hairy around here. But I think my voice is going, so that is all I'm going to be doing for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, have a great day, and I will talk to you uh, later. Bye-bye.